guys today i'm going to show you what i keep in my backpack the things to help me lower my waist and make sure i'm doing the best i can so this is my bag it's a charlie Feist backpack charlie Feist are an amazing company um, this bag is made out of recycled plastic bottles and i got this for my 21st birthday and i mean there's a few little marks here and there but it's pretty much as good as new so it's been like 14 months that I've had this bag and I literally use it every single day um so yeah I would highly recommend this company I'll put a link down below if you want to check them out so in this part I have my perfume from Eden Perfumes this one is like the alien one I think it's number 46 number 46 um if you haven't heard of Eden Perfumes they're amazing I'm blocking the camera Eden Perfumes have pretty much any perfume that you could ever want but a cruelty free version uh, this is Alien but I know they do like a Gucci Guilty um, Paco Rabanne Olympia um, Daisy Marc Jacobs they've got like they've got loads next I have my earphones um, I always feel lost without them so they're always in there now to the middle part my reusable water bottle um, you've got to make sure you hydrate yourself and you don't want to be buying into single use plastic bottles so make sure you have one of these in your bags <laughs> this is like my everything pouch I just have random things in here that I might need so okay I have asthma pump um, a rollable piece essential oils calm me down vibe um, hand cream mango um, I'm really sad that they don't do these in the metal anymore it's plastic but I've got quite a few of these to go so <laughs> I'll be using them up but I won't buy them after they're gone I have this lip balm from Bliss Botanics um, comes in a metal tin and I have <laughs> mouthwash tabs um, this is in a bare minerals tub but obviously they're not from bare minerals I reused these tins from Lush they were um, the charity pot cream so I have put Dr Bronner's peppermint in there Dr Bronner's again an amazing company um, and then in this charity pot I have some charcoal toothpaste um, just because you never know now clippers Ta -ding. a reusable cotton bud ear thing tweezers extra medication just in case I forget which is quite a lot safety pins not a clue why I keep these in here actually um, but they'll stay in there and then I have some homemade deodorant in a pot that I've reused as well so that's all for my everything bag and be toothbrush I keep one just in case um, you never know if you're going to be stranded or if you go out and stay some, around someone's house. So I always take a toothbrush. I have my cutlery set. I showed you this in my minimalist packing video. Um, but I'll quickly show you. So I have fork, spoon and knife. Um, these are bamboo. My copper straw. Reusable napkin. They always come in really handy. I mean, I'm... I'm quite messy so if you spill something they save the day next is my purse um, I got this from I think it was Vegan Life Live it was one of the vegan conventions it's called Goma probably saying that wrong um, this <laughs> it's vegan leather and it has a little bit that you can take out of it so if you've got an oyster card or something or you just want to take out your bank card or something like that you can literally just take out this really thin pouch oh also i have a few of these little thank you cards um these are from viva la vegan um it says thank you i ate here because you offer vegan food next up is a collapsible tub i love me a collapsible tub so i always take a tupperware with me if you're eating out and you want a doggy bag you can always ask for it to go in your tub or if you're out on a belt and find a really cute vegan cafe and you're like oh I want to try one of them brownies 
Pop in your Tupperware. Okay, next. A book. I never buy books anymore. I always just go to the library. At the minute, I'm reading Love for Imperfect Things. Um, I'm pretty much almost done. Um, yeah. Train journeys, car journeys. Books come in very handy. Okay, next is my Sudoku book. Um, I've had this book for a very long time, as you can definitely tell. Um, this has got like 200 puzzles in and I'm almost there. I'm on 183, so I've got 17 left. Um, I'll be really sad when this guy's over. I'm a sucker for Sudoku. Okay, next up we have tote bags. This one my sister-in-law's mum made me for my birthday, which is really, really sweet. Um, tote bags always come in super, super handy. And this tote bag is from a company called Born Anxious. Um, I wanted to talk about these. I'm wearing their top at the minute. It's got Born Anxious on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they're a really cool company. Their t-shirts and bags are 100% organic and they support autism and special needs. So go check those out as well. Their website is www.bornanxious.co.uk um, but I'll pop that in the description box as well if you want to go and support them. Then we have my little period kit. Um, as you know, periods like to surprise you. They're not always on time. So I always keep a menstrual cup in here and two reusable pads because you just got to be prepared. Also, if you want me to do a video on how to have a way through period, let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Okay, and last, oh, not lastly, there's another thing in here. This is a pen. Um, that will be for Sudoku. This is a pen I got when I did my first aid course. And it's got a little pull-up thing to save people's lives. Um, okay, now lastly, I have a collapsible flask. I think I showed you this in my packing video when I went to Amsterdam. But I'll quickly show you again. So this just folds out. Pop that on there and the lid on. This does a small, like in, in Starbucks and Costa, it's, oh, Starbucks is weird, isn't it? It's like a tall but Costa is a small. This flask is made from food grade silicon and plastic, unfortunately. I do have quite a few flasks downstairs that are made from um, bamboo. But this one fits in my bag quite nicely. And these will save you from using single use coffee cups. And I know in Starbucks and Costa and Prep, you get a certain amount off for bringing your own flask. So, win win. So that's it. That's everything I keep in my bag. If you like this video, please give it a like and share with your friends as well. The more people that see this, the less animals we're hurting and the less waste we're producing. And I would really, really appreciate it if you went and showed this channel some love. And comment down below what you keep in your backpack and what things you're doing to create less waste.